Welcome, my fellow JoJo enthusiasts, to JoJo World in Yokohama. And today, I'm going to be taking you all around JoJo World. You're going to be thinking, Connor, what is there possibly to do? Well, don't worry, as you'll be finding out everything you need to know in the video today. Now, you might hear the word world and think a giant theme park, but no, it's more of a Disney store-esque style in a shopping mall in Yokohama, Japan. So I'm going to walk you through everything there is to do here today and hopefully keep you entertained. And if you're not a JoJo fan, you might be very confused. But if you love JoJo, you're going to want to see this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, maybe you guys don't care, maybe you do, but I'll give a little back info to how I found out about this. Basically on Twitter, the official JoJo account kept retweeting something about this JoJo world happening in Yokohama. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm literally wearing JoJo. My room is literally JoJo. I literally have a stand arrow. My life is pretty much Jojo. Why? I don't know. I love it. So naturally I wanted to go. So I contacted them asking them, Hey, can I come and film for the event uh, before it opens? And they said, yes. And I also wasn't told anything. So I didn't know anything about this before I got there. And essentially the pop-up stores run for about two months each and then they move. So currently it's in Tokyo and then it's going to move to Osaka and then presumably it's gone. And so when we got there, they basically just told us a bit about it, told us what we can do, told us what we can't do. And most of you have probably never been pressed for anything, but essentially you turn up, they basically lecture you for about 10, 15 minutes, letting you know, hey, don't film this, please film this, please don't say this, please don't say that, the usual stuff. And then all the staff were kind enough to give us a tour around the area, showing us all the stuff that you can buy, all the possible merchandise that you can win in the little raffles. And I'll show you guys all the events when I'm going through them, but to give you a brief explanation of what they are, the first three parts, part one, two, and three, had kind of quick time-esque things for a raffle, Basically a raffle with extra steps and Jojo-fied. And there's a bunch of items that you can get. And of course it's Japan, so it's Gachified. It's all randomized. These Jotro figures are really cool. I wanted to buy them. You can also buy portraits of your husbandos. This is something I can kind of get behind. I do, <laughs> I do kind of want a picture of Jojo on my desk. I'm not gonna lie. But it's not everyone's thing. So Japan does this thing called an Ichiban Kuji. Uh, and essentially what it is, is that you buy a ticket and you get a raffle. And on that raffle, there's A to E or however far down it goes. And normally A is the best. So here with these figures, they've basically done part one being A, part two being B. Look at that plate. They need a Jojo wine glass as well, so I can stir my Jojo wine glass as I hit this. <laughs> and of course, every single pop-up store or cafe or anything has to have its own themed food and drink. I wish I remembered what it was, but it looks good. I think? Again, I'm gonna be honest again. I normally avoid the food in cafes. I normally prefer to just go to an actual restaurant. But hey, some people love it. I, I don't really give a fuck. It does actually look pretty good in this one. Not just saying that because I'm biased as Jojo. I think it looks good. I, I'd eat it. I f it. So here we have, right? These are acrylic stands. But if you look very closely at them, there's two slots. So you can either put the Jojo World little sign there, or if you're into that saucy BL, you can put your preferred shit on both the acrylic stands and have them in one stand. Great, I want Dio and Dio. So naturally any good world or place that has attractions has mini games. Mini games is a very generous term. And luckily, Jojo World is no exception to this, as we have some minigames over here. If you've seen part one of the anime, this will look very familiar to you. If you haven't seen the anime, don't worry, but essentially there's a scene where you have to hit the frog and uh, you'll get a prize based on how you perform with hitting the frog, so give it a shot. That was the weakest, most anemic punch of my life. Very exciting stuff. I got a C. That's like the worst. Normally you'd get a prize based on different kind of value, based on which letter you got. Obviously A being the highest uh, and C being the worst. So I did actually get the worst. I think it's a really cool concept. I just wish there was some input into it. You guys know me, I love skill-based games. I am a gamer, guys, and I love it when my games reward me for doing something. I hate randomness, so not gonna lie, as cool as it is to punch a frog and get a prize for it, I wish there was some way that I could influence it and the prize that I get. There is another attraction here from part two, which is uh, spinning a wheel. So I just spin it and we get a little orb with a prize. Oh. See prize. No, see again, I'm so cursed. If you've made it this far in the video already, you're probably thinking, wow, this is not really that cool. It does get cooler later on. The better stuff is in part four, part five, part three. It's just a shame that the first mini games are kind of lackluster in my opinion, but it's still cool if you're a JoJo fan, I think. If you're not a JoJo fan, you probably have no idea what's going on. A grown man just punched a toy frog and turned a wheel and is happy about it. <laughs> I got the worst prize again. So these two have the same prizes and C being the worst, uh, you get, is that clear files? Uh, just pictures basically. Yeah. You get just PNGs. We got, we got Rob boys. You can tell I'm very happy about it. 
next time I want to get like an actual prize. But luckily for me, there's more mini games. Uh, luckily, this one right here was from part three. So the next kind of mini game slash quick time event, as I'd call it, is a reference to part three in the anime. There's a character called Joseph who can put his hands on a TV, break it, and it'll give him the information that he needs, essentially, if you haven't seen the anime. So now I'm channeling my energy to find deer. I swear to God, if I get a C. Oh. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. It wasn't the worst, which is C. As you've probably just seen, we've covered parts one through three attractions, but of course, there's more. And over here, we have Rohan Kishibe's house, where he draws his manga, which is another minigame attraction. All right, okay, so I just press start. So this was a bit unfortunate because we weren't actually allowed to record any of the audio or film much of it as they wanted it to be a surprise. And now, here is me voicing out a very quick recreation of what happened. Oh, who are you? Oh, you like Jojo, huh? Well, let me ask you a few questions about Jojo. If you one day developed powers, would you use them for good or evil? Then you have to choose, blah, blah, blah. And you... Oh, really? You choose evil, huh? Would you tell your friends and family if you gained powers? Huh. Interesting. You wouldn't. If your homie went to hug you, but you're wearing socks on, is it still considered gay? I'm going to pretend we never had this conversation, and you won't remember any of it. But I'll remember you fondly. That's an extreme, memefied TLDR of what happened. It was about 20 minutes of brand new dialogue that was recorded specifically for this attraction by the voice actors just to like do like a personality test. And this was 20 minutes of just the route that I got. So I'm assuming there's more routes and more stuff. And if you're a JoJo fan and, and a huge one of that, this is gonna be awesome because you basically get to have a JoJo character ask you questions and figure out your personality. And that's so fucking cool. And I wish I could have shared you some of it in the video. So this is the world tour attraction and this is from part three obviously so we're gonna be going to egypt with the boys and maybe go and find dio so if you don't know the plot to part three of the anime don't worry essentially it's five of our boys going on a journey together to beat the evil dio and the series is laid out in the kind of monster of the week system as they progress from Japan all the way to Egypt by land and boat and all of that interesting stuff. And they have so many enemies along the way. Oh no, it's a visual novel. So currently it's just recapping the story of uh, part three, letting us know what's going on. So you spin this roulette wheel and depending on what number you get, you go that many spaces and you need to go X amount of spaces to get to Dio. And depending on which spot you land on is which stand battle you'll be quizzed about. We're fighting the monkey. <laughs> and you bet your boy got the chimpanzee right away. You know me, monkey man. And I don't know if you can see it, but essentially there was two monitors. So one up here and one down here, which is a touch screen where the answers were presented. Is it play? You won't. I got it <laughs> you right. Why, but you won't. So I think it was asking what was the missing word. I didn't know what it was asking. I just guessed. I had no idea what the first question was asking because it was very fast. I didn't have time to prepare. So I picked one and luckily I got it right. So now we have another roulette wheel. Oh my God, this is so fast. So I assume we have to get to Egypt or roll to Egypt. Yes. Yes, you do, Connor. So it's, it's like if your knowledge of the show is good, you can pass this. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Okay. We're finally in Egypt. Boingo, boingo. Amazing stand battle, okay. I think what shape should be right for the order to go through the pipes? Uh, I think I got it wrong. Yeah, it, wrong. I got it right? <laughs> I guess, I, I, I did not know. What, that was so hard. That was 10 seconds. So not all of the questions were knowledge about the show. Uh, for example, the Oingo Boingo fight like this one just asked me to put the correct maze in between this box here. I don't know. I didn't have much time, but I got it right. So who cares? All right, we're against Dio. Great sound effects, fantastic. Very, very, very reminiscent. We did it? Yes. Oh, there's no final question? We just beat Dio, okay. I guess I was so knowledgeable about JoJo's that I one-shot Dio very easily. Thank you for playing game clear. Wow, we did that, that was easy. Our, our JoJo part three knowledge is clearly too excessive. We're just too good. And there was a reason to beat Dio because if you actually did do it, you got an exclusive Stardust Crusaders Polaroid. And let's be honest, you know your boy got it. I was a bit disappointed that there wasn't a final battle against Dio as I wanted some kind of budget family f***ing feud against my boy Dio, you know, but whatever. Come on, all of them. I think it's like a Oh my God. Oh wow, it's got more on the back. Oh, it's got all of the cards. That's so cool. It's the picture that they always have in the show. I'm kind of fanboy. That's pretty epic. These are the tarot cards and I'm not going to lie. I think it's pretty f***ing awesome. You get every Every single tarot card from part uh, three, which I think is really cool just for playing, even if you lose. So, I, you know, I mean, I can't complain. That's pretty fun badass. I love that. Again, if you're not a big fan of the show, probably me fanboying over all this stuff is just like, what? 
What, what is this grown man getting happy about? <laughs> He's literally going around a stall. So we have one final attraction, and that is the Passione Part 5 attraction. So I'm excited to see what this is, because I have no idea. Apparently it's a test of sorts, so I'll find out what kind of Passione member or test that I'm doing. So naturally, my uh, Japanese listening skills are pretty poor. I'm, I'm okay a little bit, but I'm going to have to use 110% of my brain. But I've only had one hour of sleep, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to try and join Passione. And essentially how this attraction worked is that it would start off by asking a bunch of questions about your personality. For example, because I have an email. Do you want to be a leader? <laughs> yes, I do. I would think so. Would you say you're self-confident? A little, a little too much. Do you want people to acknowledge you as soon as possible? Oh, wow. That's, this is getting deep, isn't it? Oh, my God. I mean, I, I, I mean, sure. I mean, who doesn't, right? Questions along those lines. They ask about 20 plus in total. And then based on those results, a character from the show will email you. Now, based on my results, I got emailed and called by your boy, Bucciaretti. I love that, man. He's my waifu man and if you don't know who that is that's mom butcherati uh butcherati's calling me what <laughs> i wish you guys could hear the audio I'm telling me he's the team leader and he, he's here he's telling me these are the team members already that he has oh so he's telling me like a little bit of the backstories of the characters he said Arrivederci. i did like that part and once you've been chosen by your selected gang member man that sounds weird to say out loud you get an email with pictures from the show that kind of like you know like scout out like oh yeah this is what's going on in the show you know yeah we gotta scout out the enemy and uh, they're just screenshots from the show. And after you've looked at those, you do a jigsaw puzzle, I guess. <laughs> under a time limit not really that hard it's a jigsaw puzzle oh we have a new email now so we click the new link oh it's a jigsaw puzzle what wait why do, why is this part of the test <laughs> this is like i'm literally a two-year-old right now needless to say i'm very thrilled about doing a jigsaw puzzle i'm i'm over the age of five that's doable that's it's quite comfortable and finally after the call happens it has a kind of tom cruise mission impossible self-destruct moment and you have 60 seconds to go through the pc and look at all the information that you were presented that's, that's pretty cool Shut down in 60 seconds. Oh, I have no idea what I'm looking for. Napoli, okay, cool. So normally I'm not supposed to see this information, but because I'm on the team, I can see the, the stills of the anime, which is what it is. Sorry, PC's shut down now. He basically just told me about all the characters in the gang and told me their strengths and weaknesses and just sounded hot in my ear because that man's voice actor is just pure sex. So I guess based on which answers you give, you'll get different calls from different characters, because I saw that other people were calling from different characters. Amazing deduction skills, Connor. That is indeed how it works. I wish I could understand more, but essentially he was just telling me about the team and what type of, you know, characters they have in the team. And I'm guessing based on the answers that you give in the first part, you might get called by Misto, or you might get called by Fugo. It depends on who you are most like, I assume, based on your answers. And there's up to 13 different scenarios, so you can have 13 different conversations. And what's cool is that none of these lines are being reused from the anime. It's all being recorded new just for this. So it's like a whole new JoJo experience, as you can go in this as many times as you want and experience every other character, which is pretty cool. And obviously, if you do come to JoJo World, it isn't just the attractions over there. There are actually some games over here now if you haven't seen this game it's essentially jojo battle royale it's jojo fortnite <laughs> that's what it is it is pretty fun though i have played it a bunch it's just kind of expensive it's like a full box is to play one round against people and most people are really bad at the game so it's really easy to just win <laughs> but i'm not kidding so if you played fortnite you kind of get how to play this so any modern battle royale is literally that just with jojo you get dropped off in moriocho and you essentially have to just pick a character i think there's rohan dio jojo Pretty much every character, like mainstay character in JoJo, you just fight each other. And it's not playable right now. I would play it for you, but hopefully there's some footage on the screen. It's fun. Please try it out. You will, you will not regret it. It's a lot of fun. Please play it with your friends. So there you have it. This has been JoJo World. Obviously, if you're not a big JoJo fan, you won't find much to like here. But if you're a big fan of the show and love everything around it as much as I do, you'll probably find something that will tickle your fancy here, that's for sure. From punching frogs to having quizzes, testing your knowledge of JoJo, there's something for every JoJo fan here. If you are in the Yokohama area, I do recommend coming here. I don't know if I'd make a trip all the way from the US just to come here, but if you're here, you may as well check it out. Without further ado, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, uh, I'm going to go home and sleep because I'm very tired right now, as you might be able to tell. So, yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. I'm going. Bye. But I'm curious, you, as the viewer, what did you think? Are you a huge JoJo fan? Do you want to go here? Do you not give a f about JoJo and have no idea and don't give a f
about going here. Just tell me your, what do you think? I'm genuinely curious. Please let me know down below. Just tell me like the level of JoJo fan you are and if you think this looked even remotely interesting to you. And if you don't think it looks interesting at all, I won't be offended. I don't care. I just want to make this video and show off what I thought was kind of neat. Could have been better. <laughs> but anyway, bye. <laughs> uh.